Hello friends. This is Vasundhara Bose, your host for today's session titled Play True: Discussions Around the True Essence of Value-Based Sportsmanship. Friends, value-based sports education is an approach to sports training that highlights the cultivation of ethical and moral values along with the development of physical skills. These values include sportsmanship, teamwork, maintaining integrity of sports, fair play, respect, responsibility, perseverance, leadership, health and wellness, community involvement, character development, clean sports and consequences. The development of value-based sports education is very important as sports can be a powerful tool for individual growth and development. It is not just about winning or losing but also learning about life lessons that is how one should behave on and off the field therefore by putting values in sports training we can help athletes to become a better person not just a better athlete so today we will discuss about the role of sports education in developing ethical values fair play and clean sports like cultivating respect for oneself and others in sports and awareness about the consequences of cheating or doping cultivation of respect means treating everyone with respect and dignity while valuing diversity and differences and so to enlighten us more on this topic we have with us two very distinguished experts to guide us through today we have with us Dr Arun Kumar Uppal former vice chancellor of Jiwaji University and head dean Lakshmi Bai National Institute of Physical Education LNIPE Gwalior we welcome you sir thank you very much also we are pleased to introduce our listeners to Dr Amrindra P Behra the joint director Central Institute of Educational Technology CIET NCERT Delhi we are pleased to have you with us sir Thank you very much Vasundhara ji and uh, namaskar to all the listeners. Thank you so much sir. So in order to begin with today's discussion I would like to request Dr Arun Kumar Upal to share a little about his journey and your valuable thoughts on cultivating respect for oneself and others in sports education. So could you please guide us cultivating respect for oneself and others in sports education is very important. it means treating everyone with respect and dignity while valuing diversity and differences here are some ways to nurture respect in sports education coaches and other adult officials involved in sports should show respectful behavior towards the young and budding athletes and others this model respectful behavior will educate others and encourage them to treat everyone with respect avoiding disrespectful and offensive language dear friends to cultivate respect in sports system there should be an environment of open communication and athletes should feel respectful and safe while expressing their thoughts and feelings without the fear of judgment It is also important to promote teamwork encourage the activities that is group work out team building games and other collaborative activity that requires teamwork which further develop relationship and sense of community amongst themselves It is also important to highlight the fair play and sportsmanship this can develop respect for the rules of the game and opponent and also teach athlete to avoid cheating and play with integrity value based sports education is the process of fostering essential values and morals in individuals in order to help them develop a strong character and become responsible members of society it is a holistic approach that influences an individual's cognitive affective and behavioral aspects in order to develop their personal social and moral values therefore it is important to cultivate 
important values among sports persons so that they treat other sports persons with dignity and perform their responsibilities in the most efficient manner thank you so much for your valuable insights sir and now may i please request dr amarendra p behra to guide us more on the role of education in promoting fair play and clean sports sir could you please share your words of wisdom thank you very much vasundra ji uh, namaskar and uh, welcome to all the listeners to this program and uh, as vasundra ji is saying education plays a very important role uh, in promoting fair play and clean sports and uh, these are also emphasized in our policy documents like the national education policy 2020 which has recently come up and uh, it was released in july 2020 it has very emphatically mentioned that game based pedagogy and sports based pedagogy needs to be used in the schools also sports and games needs to be introduced from an early age so that children they play they keep themselves fit and also they uh, learn a lot of values like discipline sympathy empathy integrity uh, and overall the sports person spirit so that is also very crucial so therefore whether it is school curriculum or the higher education or technical education curriculum the national education policy emphasizes that it should be embedded into the curriculum and i have also as a practitioner as a curriculum designer and as a, a technology person in the uh, education arena have realized that if children they play from an early age and they play a particular game or a sports uh, maybe in athletics and uh, they go for practice they go for final play and all so many times uh, the discipline punctuality regularity that is also achieved among uh, children Uh, so um, uh, there is a lot of uh, emphasis on this and as far as the fair play and clean sports are concerned we need to uh, orient the uh, teachers the coaches even the athletes and the parents also and the general public who put a lot of pressure on athletes and sports persons to perform and many times knowingly or unknowingly they take uh, uh, some substance and also they land into trouble and which is unethical also and not in a positive sense and not promote positive values also so in order to inculcate different values like integrity respect honesty and spread awareness about the consequences of Uh, cheating and doping for fair play and clean sports is very essential and uh, since uh, the uh, policy is emphasizing on the game based and uh, um, sports based pedagogy so we all the teachers teacher educators need to take care of these aspects in school curriculum as well thank you so much sir so friends we just heard dr amrendra p behra elaborating on the importance of the promotion of fair play and clean sports that is essential in maintaining the integrity and credibility of sports because education plays a crucial role in achieving this goal through education young and budding athletes coaches and sports administrators can learn about the importance of ethical behavior in sports and the negative consequences of engaging in unethical practices such as doping and other forms of cheating So based on today's discussion we'd like to ask a few more questions from our expert guests I'd like to begin with Dr Arun Kumar Uppal sir uh so could you please tell us how coaches are helpful in cultivating respect in athletes for themselves and others it is very significant it means treating everyone with respect and dignity while valuing diversity and differences following are the ways to nurture respect in sports education coaches and other adults involved in sports should show respectful behavior to young and budding sports persons and others this model respectful behavior will educate others and encourage them to treat everyone with respect and avoiding disrespectful and offensive language to cultivate respect in sports system and there should be an environment of open communication an athlete should feel respectful and safe while expressing their thoughts and feelings 
with fear and judgment. Promote teamwork. Encourage the activities that is group work, team building games and other collaborative activities that require teamwork which further develops a relationship and sense of community amongst themselves. Highlight fair play and sportsmanship. This can develop respect for the rules of the game and opponent. Also teach the sportsperson to avoid cheating and play with integrity. Encourage empathy for others. Encourage sportsperson to develop awareness and empathy for all others involved in sports. Also, boost them to analyze their behavior and how their behavior can impact others and change their behavior as required. Thank you so much, sir. That was beautifully put. And also, empathy being the key operative word here, uh, could you also tell us how can value-based education help young athletes develop empathy and understanding towards their opponents involved in the sport? Empathy involves the ability to emotionally understand what another person is experiencing. Empathy refers to an active sharing in the emotional experience of another person. Therefore, it is very, very important for coaches and other persons to develop this important value among the sports persons. Lovely. Uh, so, what role do athletes, coaches and other stakeholders play in promoting education and awareness about fair play and clean sports in their communities? There are 12 important values which a coach must develop among sports persons. These are honesty, integrity, humility, professionalism, discipline, toughness, work ethic, enjoyment and fun, passion, respect, empathy and compassion. Thank you so much, sir, for beautifully answering all our queries. And now I have a few questions from Dr. Professor Behra. Uh, so, what is the role of education in promoting fair play and clean sports? Basundhara ji, I feel that there is a strong role of education to promote fair play and clean sports. And for that, in our curriculum itself, there are many games and sports activities included in the daily schedule of the school, uh, whether it is through playing kabaddi, playing football, playing basketball or any other thing. And uh, while the physical education teachers or any coach uh, teaching this to children, so uh, the teacher need to uh, use the ta tactics, strategies in such a way that the team building is um, followed by all the students, even while um, playing each role uh, by the students, even um, many a time students knowingly or unknowingly, they commit some mistakes also, they do some foul also while playing football and all. So the teacher need to point out immediately and say that this is uh, not fair. And similarly, also while talking about the uh, fair play and uh, clean sports, the teachers, coaches, they need to orient the students that these are the things they need to eat, these are the things they should not eat as a supplement, uh, maybe as a medicine or so, so that they know that these are legal and these are illegal, even the consequences also. So indirectly or directly uh, through different topics like uh, food, nutrition is a topic at primary level. So it goes up to uh, secondary, senior secondary level also when they talk about vitamins, minerals and all. So while talking that, uh, so the teachers, sports teachers and uh, coaches, they need to bring in these aspects that uh, these food supplements are useful to keep the body uh, fit for uh, themselves. These are the exercises they uh, put the body fit because again in our um, epics also including in Kumara Sambhavam, Kalidas has written that Sariram Madhyam Khalu Dharma Sadhanam. So um, the health is prerequisite for any other uh, 
uh, activity including games and sports so therefore food uh, nutrition uh, is very much required and all we adults teachers coaches and all uh, we need to orient the students directly or indirectly i would like to link one more thing vasundara ji uh, with this particular topic because the national education policy 2020 talks about no hard separation so that means if the children they are playing a game so maybe through that particular game like javelin throw so through javelin throw how projectile motion operates uh, children can also learn so uh, similarly uh, that uh, how fair play and clean sports can be uh, infused among every child so those kind of activities needs to be organized they need to uh, work in team and uh, some games like uh, dr uh, arun uh, kumar rupal ji was saying that some ev- uh, events place should be organized so that they build a team spirit for them it may be through swimming uh, it may be through um, playing any other game even kabaddi or any other so that is very crucial beautiful i mean there's so much to learn it's sports it's it's not just a term but you know in every sense of the word i think it's a great tool for character building so the second very important question is how can education raise awareness about the negative consequences of doping and cheating in sports basundara ji prevention is always better than cure so uh, we uh, being uh, stakeholders in the world so whether it is a teacher whether it is a coach even parents also many a times general public they put a lot of pressure on sports persons so we need to properly orient the sports persons what is the good effect and bad effect of a particular activity and in case of anti doping the substances which are uh, not to be taken by the sports persons very clearly we need to tell the athletes and uh, like anybody cross a traffic light if it is green vehicles are uh, running uh, so the consequence will be death so similarly in case of a sports person athlete if they use any unconventional mo- mode uh, including taking some substances as food supplements or medicines uh, to perform better so it means a career ban could be there for them also so those consequences the sports persons needs to be oriented uh, maybe through posters banners advocacy materials uh, even uh, through invited lectures by acclaimed sports persons sense in different areas so that they will be more oriented on this and knowingly or unknowingly they will not be committing because they know that if they commit they will lose a medal their country will also lose a medal so in a way that the nationalist national feeling and the feeling of performing for their locality for their parents for themselves so that needs to be infused among every ch- children Wow those were some very important pointers to be kept in mind also so i'd like to ask how can education help to create a culture of integrity and respect in sports basundara ji actually from the beginning we need to uh, have a curriculum related to health physical education and sports uh, then only a trained uh, health physical education teacher or sports teacher can orient the children well in day to day activities now the um, ncert is developing national curriculum frameworks based on the national education policy 2020 and i'm sure that the new national curriculum framework for school education mm-hmm. and also the subsequent new generation of syllabus and textbooks uh, will be taking care of uh, uh, this even another thing which is being thought of uh, that Uh, how students they can take subjects related to health physical education and sports from the beginning of the career at secondary level particularly from 9th 10th onwards because now secondary level constitute 9th 10th and 11th 12th level 1 is 9th 10th and level 2 is 11th 12th so in that case the curriculum itself needs to take this into consideration and another crucial thing is the teacher training the training of the coaches so they need to get national and international 
national exposure also that what globally is happening you know, what at the national level is um, happening so that they will take all this happening into into consideration and they will get ample examples of such cases where if st the sports persons athletes they are committing a mistake what is happening so those case studies uh, as a use of pedagogic approach can help uh, the children learn better uh, maybe through seeing uh, some videos some animations even some audio programs so they can be motivated for that professor behra spoke about doping and its consequences among sports persons i just want to add some of my views regarding doping wada has banned doping not because it only enhances performance it also has a very bad effect on the health of the child on the health of the sports person therefore right from 1904 number of cases of doping have come to the limelight but we have to educate the youth we have to educate our young sports persons that intake of alcohol intake of doping and all other means which may indirectly enhance their performance are not good for their health and well being thank you so much sir well that was indeed a very insightful discussions dear friends value based education teaches individuals to respect and appreciate their opponents and to play by the rules it emphasizes to promote clean sports by discouraging the use of banned substances and other forms of cheating it highlights the negative consequences of such actions both for the individual and for the integrity of the sport so in conclusion value based education is essential in promoting fair play and clean sports it provides athletes coaches and sports administrators with the knowledge and skills needed to participate in sports ethically and with integrity by instilling ethical values and principles in the sports community we can create a culture that benefits everyone involved in sports and with this we'd like to conclude our today's session titled play true discussions and the true essence of value based sportsmanship I'd like to thank Dr. Arun Kumar Uppal sir and Dr. Amarendra P. Behra sir for being with us on the show, sharing their valuable insights and for their valuable time. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much. Thoroughly enjoyed the session. And thanks to our wonderful listeners for being with us on this program. Play true. This program is presented to you in collaboration with National Anti-Doping Agency (NADA) and CIET (NCERT) New Delhi.